Hello, I'm David Barabee reporting back in Hollister, California on the homeless issue. Last time we were up here at Vista Park Hill, there was a homeless camp previously and now it is gone. So I would like to take you on a walk and show you what it would have looked like. Behind me, there was a tent at one point. As you can see, there's an empty spot there. To my right over here, there was yet another tent. And if you follow me down this way, there was two more tents down that beaten pathway. Now, we've come back to attempt to help the homeless people in Hollister. However, they're not here. Hello, this is David Berber reporting in Hollister, California on the homeless issues. We're standing next to Johnny, or better known as the Lion King. So, how do you feel about this homeless issues? Um, the situation and the things that they provide is nothing. Um, there's nothing available. I mean, there's people that donate things to us. Um, they help us out. Um, they try to, but there's nothing really here for us, and we need some help. And, um, you know, we need help with hygiene and utilities and, you know, we don't have no electricity or no water or nothing, but that's cool. We usually try to provide. I usually try to do that by myself. Or other people help, too. But, um, yeah, um, if there's anybody that can help, we would really appreciate it. You know, we need whatever we can get. How does the uh, city of Hollister treat you being homeless? Um, I'm constantly getting harassed. By the uh, police department? By the Hollister Police Department. Um, how, how do they harass you exactly? Well, I, I, I live in a shopping cart. It's right there. And um, I try to bring things home. And simply they harass me all the time. Um, you know, we don't do nothing. We don't steal. And we don't borrow without asking. But most of the times, people donate things to us. That's the reason I run a shopping cart, because it's a lot easier to carry. But other than that, there's nothing available here for the homeless. And we need help. Is it true the homeless shelter is open? And if it is, yes. what? Why? The homeless shelter opened November 1st, which is my birthday. Well, happy early, late birthday. Yeah. Um, how come you don't go up there? Uh, the reason is because um, I don't like them. Okay. Is there, do they do something wrong to you? Are they rude? Yeah, they're real rude. And they're mean. And, um, you know, it's just better to just stay down here and just, we live down here, I'm sorry. What would you like them to do to, to change it, in your opinion? Uh, just maybe help us out with a little bit of food and some hygiene. There's nothing. There's nothing, man. Just canned food. I mean, you How do they expect you to eat that? Well, I got to bust it open with a, with, a, with a rock. How's the weather changing, affecting your, your living style? Um, well, I wear four leathers. It's getting cold. And we don't have no blankets or nothing. And we're just trying to keep warm. On Vista Park Hill, where did they move to? Are you, do you oh, know? Everybody's spread out. Yeah, everybody's all scattered because of the... Because the way they the way, the way, the way they harass us, and everybody had to just split up because <clears throat> there's not really no, they're running out of places to go. Um, are they still in town? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. They still everybody's still in town. Most of them, unless they're dead or in jail. But yeah, they are. Yeah. But everybody's scattered because there's too many people, and you can't have too many people because it attracts attention. So what we're trying to do is just um, trying to spread everybody around so they have some place to stay. <clears throat> I bring canvases, blankets, clothing, food, water, whatever they need. As long as you can't be seen, it's okay to be <coughs> homeless in Hollister. Yeah, but they'll see us though anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> um, how, how do they treat you if you go downtown? I've heard they harass you pretty good down there. Every day. Every day I get harassed, I get pulled over, two or three times a day. And I beg, 
and I eat out of a garbage can. And I drink and I wash my hands every time I get a chance to. Because I always try to be clean. Yeah. But, um, I try to help the homeless any way, which way I can. That's why I'm called the Lion King. And anyway, if I can help anybody else out there too, let me know. Because I'll help. Well, you don't have to be sorry for the way you live. It's not your fault. However, we do hope that this will change something. We're trying to send a message to Hollister. If you had one thing to tell the city of Hollister, what would it be that you would tell them? I love you, and I'm sorry that we live like this. And if there's any way we can get assistance, we would appreciate it. In Jesus' name, I pray. Thank you. I appreciate your time, Johnny. We appreciate you. your time. Thank All you. Right. Thank you, brother. And um, thank you, sir. We'll see you around next time.